guys, it's your Chanel, aka Nelly B, and I'm here with an FAQ on my faux lock. I've had quite a few people ask me uh, via my different social media platforms and in person about my hair and what I did and what I used. So I compiled the questions I will ask most uh, in an attempt to just give you guys some insight as to what I did with my hair. And if I miss any that you may have, feel free to ask in the comment section and I would gladly answer. So let's start. First question is, what braid did you use? I did not use a braid, I actually used acrylic yarn, like what people would knit with. Yeah, acrylic yarn. Or I know some people call it wool, I'm not sure if it's the same thing, but normally when you go, you ask for acrylic yarn, so that's what I used. How much yarn did you use? I used seven and a half balls of yarn. I know some places yarn comes on a big, like a spool, and other places you get them by the ball. So if you're getting it by the ball, in order for me to do this length, which is about bra strap length, and this thickness, I used seven and a half balls of yarn. Where did you get the yarn? I got the yarn at ABC. It's a, like a sewing supply place in Port of Spain. It's on... Queen Street near Charlotte Street Corner. So if you walk up Charlotte Street from Independence Square and you turn left onto Queen Street, it's about the second or third door on the left when you're walking on Queen Street. Next question is, how did you do the style? How we did it essentially was we braided my hair down with the yarn to where my hair stops which is about there so we went a little past there and then I just twisted down the rest of it I'll put a picture to show you guys how that looked and then after that we took about four strands of the same yarn and she started from the root and wrapped it all the way down to the end of the hair and then she used a candle and she burnt the ends and literally she's burnt and like she passed it over the candle and then she did that type of motion and that helped to seal the ends and none of them have unraveled so the burning gives it a good hold the next question is how long did it take I would say in all it probably took about six hours because the braiding took about three and we stopped for a bit and then we started back so the wrapping did take a little, about the same thing so about six hours in all how long do you plan to keep it in i've been going back and forth about this uh i have it in two and a half weeks now and my aim was ideally six weeks and then my second aim was four weeks and part of me is ready to take it out now but then part of me is saying no you can do it keep it in so i haven't made up my mind yet so if you see a picture on instagram the day after i upload this video and it's out then you know i took it out after the video was done <laughs> Next question, can it curl? Uh, yes and no. For example, if I did like this, it can curl like that, but it won't hold the curl. So for the minute I pull on it, it's going to go back straight. If you have to style it in any way that involves a spiral or a curl or anything like that, you're going to have to get bobby pins to hold that style in place. So it's not going to curl and hold on its own. How do you care for your hair underneath? Uh, because it's wrapped, I can't really get to my hair underneath. However, for what is exposed, uh, I created a spritz where I use water... Uh, I think was olive oil, a few drops of peppermint oil, and some of one of my leave-in conditioners, and I spray that and massage that into my scalp because I suffer with dry scalp. So for the minute I put my hair in any type of protective style, my scalp goes crazy, and that does help with my scalp. Can you wet it? I would only recommend that you wet it if you have a hooded dryer, if you have the patience to stand with a handheld dryer to dry it completely because like I said this is a material that you use to make clothing so if it doesn't dry properly it's going to end up with a weird smell so to be safe I would say no don't wet it uh, so you're probably wondering how you're going to wash your hair I have a dry shampoo so that takes care of my scalp how do you style it uh, I wear it down probably 90% of the time the only other style I really did was I put two 
black swiss like almost like the crown type braid in it and then it was in a low one i'll put a picture of that but otherwise i pretty much just wear it down and out how do you sleep with it what i do is i have this band and i tie it up like that and when i tie it i just flip the hair over and i bought a special stocking cap at hair city i paid 17 dollars but it is huge to accommodate like persons who have actual dreadlocks but you can use it if you have braids too so once i flip the hair over and it's resting on top of my head i just put the stocking cap on and i'm good to go for the night can it take color i am yet to experiment to find out if it can take color if it can or if it doesn't either way i'll try and i will let you guys know on instagram probably if uh, it did work if it didn't work because I put brown in my hair. I have two shades of brown in, and I mean, I wouldn't try. I mean, wouldn't mind going, you know, and trying to get it darker. I don't think I could get it lighter, but I'll try a black and see if it would hold the color if I put it in. I would use a semi permanent, not a permanent color, just putting that out there. And how do you take it down? To take it down would be relatively easy. All I do is find where my hair ends cut it after that and then the strands that are wrapped around it will unravel and then I could just undo the braid where my actual hair is braided in so it's practically the same process like when you take out your regular braids the pros of it is that I know for some people they have a bit of a what is that an allergic reaction to synthetic braid so if you do then you can definitely try this because sometimes with braids with me sometimes my neck area or my back may get a little irritation but I have not experienced that at all with Dion so it's a really great alternative for persons who have that type of allergic reaction the cons would be like I said for me uh, not being able to wet my hair as often as I do I wash my hair not wash but I wet my hair every other day so that is a con for me not being able to wet it as much unlike if i had a synthetic braids i could still take the chance and that is about it if i missed any questions that you may have put it in the comment section i will gladly answer uh wish me luck my friends are probably laughing right now because they know i don't keep in protective styles very long so do wish me luck thanks for watching as always until next time take care and god bless bye